What's up, gang? Welcome back to another episode of 7 Minute Sunday. Today, we're going to talk about weedless lures. If you're like me and you're out there fishing and you're pulling in one of these guys, nothing against Drift Shad whatsoever, but you're pulling in one of these guys, it's a bit weedy, and this is caked with weed every single time. We are going to make them weedless with no hooks showing. This will be completely weedless as you're coming through. So stick around guys and I'll show you. If it's your first time here and you're into fishing and all kinds of other fishing related stuff, please consider clicking that subscribe button and hit the bell icon, weedless. You can do it with loads of plastics. These little guys, the HTO lure clips are amazing. They're stunning. Absolutely stunning. So you can do the weedless thing with little minnows. There is a hook there, bang. I also do it with little worms. You can do it with bigger baits. The pirate lure teaser, you can do it with these. My favorite is to do it with these and also with the dollop stick. I was turned on to the dollop stick by a gentleman named Ryan. He runs a Facebook group called Saltwater Lure Fishing wonderful group head on over there it's like a, just a plethora of information in that group wonderful guys nobody will talk you down if you have a question get over there it's on facebook saltwater lure fishing get on over there thanks ryan for turning me on to these guys there's different kinds of weedless hooks you can use a regular one just like this this is what they look like i think this is a 4-0 it's a bit small, really, for what I use. I usually use the 5 -o. Then there's these ones. These are weighted. These are 5 -0, and they've got a little screw on the end, and that goes right into your bait. Then you've got the regular. This one's also weighted without the screw on it. it makes it a little bit heavier. And for things like these, for the dollop stick, I like to use the weighted ones because it drops it just below the surface a little bit. Let's get to rigging them up, show you how to do it. So with your weedless stuff, like I said in the beginning, I don't know if you're out lure fishing with one of these guys, it, it's nothing against Drift Shad or even like this. See how the hook is sticking up. You're pulling this through the water and there's weed and it just builds up in there and builds up in there and then you get a ball of weed. Disclaimer, you won't be completely weedless. You'll pick up some, but not as much as with one of these guys. So I'll show you how I do it. There's all different ways. This, this is just how I do it. I find it the easiest way. So now you want this bait or this lure to sit straight across that indent like that. You want the bait to be straight like that. You don't want it down. You don't want it bunched up. You want it straight. You take this end here and you lay it from the tip of your bait just to there. Then you get your finger. I'll do it on this side. Then get your thumb and you put your thumb there to mark it. So then that's where you want your hook point to come out. So then you get your hook point and you just put it through like you would any other bait or any other lure. Have it come out right at your thumb point. So then you've got that. Then you send, you send it all the way up where it's gonna set. So then you have it, it's like that now. It's up there. So now you wanna measure this bit so it gets straight across the hook bend. That's how you want it to sit. So now you take your thumb and you mark it just like that, okay? Now, don't move your thumb. Then you'll take this, it'll bend a little bit. Then you put that right where your thumb mark is. Straight up through. And there you go. You've got now a perfect weedless bait. 
we'll do it on a dollar stick and we'll do it with a weighted one. It's the same type of concept, however you've got this weight on it. You don't need much, that's all you got. Feed your hook through to the weight. Now with this, you need to push it through just a little bit. It'll be fine, it's plastic, it molds itself back. Turn it around a little bit, so you've got this, that's what it looks like. There's your little thumb bit, hold it there like that. And then you come in, just like that, make sure it goes straight up the middle, bang, perfectly placed weedless bait. When the fish bites it, comes right down. I'll show you how to do the screw ones. So this little screw piece goes right into the nose of the bait. I usually use these on these guys. Just go right in the center, right in the center of the bait, or the lure, however you want to call it. Hold on, let me get it center. And you just turn it, just like a screw. Same concept with the measurement of this. You got a thumb on it. This hook's a little bit big for this lure, but down the middle. Up through, like a so, and boof. And there you go. Perfect weedless bait. So that's it for this episode of Seven Minute Sunday, guys. Thanks for coming. I hope you get your lures weedless and you don't pick up all that snotty, weedy stuff because that's where the fish are, man. They're in those weeds. You gotta pull across the weed. You pull across the weed, guarantee you get a strike. Bang! Thanks for coming, guys. I hope you learned something today. Let me know in the comments if you use these and how you get on with them. Head on over to our Facebook group, Angling Addicts, The Real UK Outcasts. Post your catch reports. Any questions, anything there, let us know. Thanks for coming. See you on the next episode of 7 Minute Sunday.